prior to his arrival as a guy who had some monster games. I can count at least three off the top of my head right now against the Miami Heat. None of that this season. I'll tell you that right now because this character is here locked in. The jumper is wet and magically delicious. Now, on the serious side of things, Wayne had a personal tragedy two years ago. His father was actually gunned down in the streets of North Philadelphia, which that loss and that pain he's turned into a blessing in trying to fight all over the nation, particularly in his hometown, though, but all over the place against gun violence. That one of the many topics we talked about in training camp in the Bahamas. Here's a listen. Now, Wayne, you come into a very interesting situation because Coach Spolstra, over the years, along with the front office, has never shied away from bringing in players who might have roasted the team in previous uh, jerseys and, and stops and locations. Uh, your, your feeling about being one of those guys that has that heat killer dynamic, now sleeping with the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Uh... Uh, I'm not sure what it is, but I've always had really good games against the Heat. Uh, and, uh, but it feels good to be a part of the Heat now. So now, now when we talk about it, you know, they call me a Heat killer. Now I tell them you can, you can move the Heat from the front of that and just call me a killer. Now I can, now, now I can uh, aim at some other teams. There'll be some T-shirts coming out already. Uh, you have already introduced yourself to South Florida uh, with a very serious topic that's near and dear to you. Uh, how important was it to you to kind of get into the community with your message about, you know, ending gun violence as soon as possible? Oh, you know, that's what I'm about. You know, that's what comes with, that's, that's what I come with. Uh, and it was very important for me to, as soon as I got here to, uh, you know, find some situations to get into the community. And, uh, you know, I was surprised that you know, there's already so many programs, so many people that are interested and involved in uh, stopping gun violence. So for me to just be able to join them uh, and at some point I'm create my own thing as well. So uh, just to be able to get out into the community, most importantly, and, uh, you know, show that, uh, you know, that's what I'm here for. There's a true connection between you and Dion in that matter that you're dealing with same family tragedies, but also from the same area and reaching into that community in Philadelphia. How important is it for you to do that in your home space? Well, uh, it's, it's very important. It's very important. Being being on the stage that we're on, and, you know, being on the platform that we're on and here, the NBA players that, uh, you know, a lot of youth, a lot of kids really look up to us. Uh, it's important for us to get into the community, man, and, and reach these kids and make sure we're talking to them and letting them know that, uh, you know, there's different ways to go. You know, you don't have to resort to violence to, to get an answer or to uh, solve a problem. Uh, that's one way. Uh, so uh, as, as time goes on, you know, I'm sure I'll, I'll be able to sit down with Dion and we'll talk about that. We'll try to help each other. Fantastic. There is the connection. Uh, of Philly sports that has become very dominant in your locker room. Uh, when you were making the decision of what was going to be next for you after your high school days, obviously ending up at UNC, was it always basketball for you, or were there other sports that you were excelling in? Yeah, yeah, it was always basketball for me. You know, I played football when I was younger. I did some track in high school, but it was always basketball. Basketball is always my dominant sport and my passion and what I love. So now that uh, you have a new residence in South Florida, what are you already enjoying about living in paradise? <laughs> well, I enjoy it all. First and foremost, the weather. The weather is unbelievable. Get to wake up to that beautiful sunshine every day. And uh, just, you know, just the, uh, I don't know, I think maybe it's, it might be the weather, but just the, you know, the, the feeling I get, you know, stepping outside and smelling that fresh air is something that I definitely enjoy. It starts the day right without a doubt. And now Heat fans, you get to know the power of we. His initials totally encompassing mind, body, and soul. We appreciate it, partner. Thank you, man. I appreciate you having me. Very good. Stay healthy throughout this preseason. Absolutely. Very good.